Hi, I'm Fiona and I'm uh, the producer at Farrett Films and I'm going to show you very quickly how to edit audio and we're using today Adobe Premiere Pro and we're going to use Adobe Audition and give you a few quick snapshots and techniques into how it's done. As you can see on the screen we've got the interview that uh, Candice Joy did with Emma Buckley on editing and I'm going to just do a little quick uh, pick up to show you how to use uh, Adobe Audition when you're cutting with Adobe Premiere Pro. So you might not be using Premiere Pro as your software which might be a little bit problematic but maybe some of the same principles will apply so just follow us and hopefully it will help you out. So you can see here on my timeline I've got some uh, video footage here and I've got an audio track here. And uh, in a normal editing process, we would just go through this and we might edit it. Actually, if you listen to this footage, you'll hear that there's lots of ums and ahs and things that we, we might want to uh, remove. There's also a peaks and troughs in terms of the volume of the audio. So what a lot of film people do is they grab this kind of line and they increase the audio or they decrease it. We're not going to do that today. What we're going to do is we're going to right click and you can see an option here that says edit clip in Adobe Audition. And we're going to select that and what that does is it grabs the audio line here and it sends it straight through to Adobe Audition and it launches what is audio editing software. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it out so I can kind of see what I'm doing. And you can see here different things like this is where people go their tongues and things so we might uh, or they might clap or there's a reason why that spikes. So when you're cutting footage for a broadcaster like we're putting these ones to channel 31 in Melbourne, they set some audio specifications. They need the footage to be between minus 12 which is here and minus 6. So that means that between this line here, minus 6 and minus 12, is where the audio has to sit on average across the whole production. And so you can see how it kind of gets quite close to minus 6 here. And in fact, uh, down below here, it goes past minus 6. So we're going to correct that. And we're also going to just, uh, if you listen to the uh, playback, you'll hear that there's got little fuzzy noises, which are just microphone noises. I'm going to show you quickly what to do in terms of correcting that. So without any further ado, I'm going to just grab this, which is a section of the timeline, which is just a microphone crackle. You might also do it if there's wind noises, if you've been recording outside. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to a menu option here that's called effects and noise reduction and we're going to capture a noise print. And you can see that it's saying, yep, I've got that noise print and we click OK. Now you can choose to run that noise print through just a section of your timeline, but in this case we're going to do the whole lot. So I've highlighted the whole timeline and I'm going back to my effects and I'm going to say noise reduction process. And what that does is it, it uh, the software removes that decibel noise from the whole of the audio timeline so you can see immediately that the areas are all cleaned up they don't have that fuzziness anymore and that's taken out from all of this audio as well the whole timeline's been cleaned up so as you can see there are peaks and troughs so here there's really low volume and then over here it's higher again uh, you can even that up by just literally grabbing great sections and you can see that there's a little volume controller here and you can just increase it. Where it goes over the minus uh, six decibels, just grab that little section and just pull it back down again. And there you can see that the entire volume for that section has been increased. Now I'm just going to play this timeline and hear what the sound is. Um. So that's an um with a with the tongue. So the easiest thing for us to do is just grab that and zero it out. So we've made it minus 127 decibels, it's gone. So we can go through the whole timeline. Planning your shoot and making sure you get all the material that may edit to the best of your ability. So for example, um... So there's another um, and you can pick ums, they kind of look like this. 
It's an um. We'll just check that. Um. Yep. And again, we can just zero that out. You might want to and it's that. gone. So, and as you go out, you'll see that there's there's peaks and troughs in, in the volumes of this file. So what we can do is we can literally just grab whole sections like this, increase it, and then just take out the pieces that were as peaked and just bring those back again. And that increases the overall volume without actually busting out of our minus six uh, decibel limit. So all of this, this audio now can sit between the minus 12 to minus 6 dB, which is required by the broadcasters. So if I'm editing a piece like this, I'll normally go through the entire audio timeline prior to doing anything with the footage. And I'll clean all this up, remove all the ums. This looks like an um. um. Yeah, that's another um, so we'll get rid of that. And I will clean up all the audio first and then I'll actually save this file and it will replace the audio that's on my video timeline in Premiere Pro. And then it's it's a much easier edit because I'm not trying to cut around ums and ahs. I've removed all that and it just makes it a little bit easier at the edit. So don't forget, as you're going along, because this is really time consuming work, you need to save. So on an Apple Mac, that's Command S, and that will just save your file, your work in progress. Once you're finished, uh, you save your file, you can get, click on this little red cross on the top left-hand corner of Audition, and you'll see that the time, the audio in my timeline has changed to green, and that enables you then to work with your repaired or enhanced audio. And the second part of working with audio is to have it prepared for mastering. So you can see here that there's a big gap. And so I wanted to uh, fix that. I could just click on it and click on it like this. And I'd need to, because I've unlinked the video, I need to click the video as well so that the syncing isn't thrown out. Now if I use my mouse to move the audio together, uh, you'll see that the audio is joined up on the timeline. Now, you have a choice of key using keyframes to transition the audio from one to the other. By far, the easiest way to do it is to go to your effects tab in Premiere Pro, click on audio transitions, click on crossfade, and drag a crossfade over it to it. And then your audio will just automatically uh, crossfade into one another, you won't get that click click sound that the audio guys can hear about and drive some nuts. So your audio then is seamless and it's ready for a mastering person. If I wanted to add a crossfade, I would have a problem here because you see this little grey uh, triangle in the corner, that doesn't allow you to crossfade, put an effect there. So to get around that, what you can do is just shave a little tiny piece off using your blade tool, just shave some off. And then if you butt some uh, audio up to it, you can use the crossfade then, you'll find that it works. So that little grey triangle you saw in the Premiere Pro timeline stops you from applying the crossfade. So if you find you can't do it, then just take a frame out and you'll be okay again. So uh, that's my uh, basic quick how to edit audio on a movie timeline with Premiere Pro and Adobe Audition. I hope that's been really helpful and good luck with your editing. Bye for now.